don't think the the NSA or CIA or anybody made Bitcoin. I I think that's a fun story that uh, paranoids tell each other to get each other excited after a couple beers. But uh, no, as uh, you know, I I believe what Satoshi wrote uh, and. Uh, how he described Bitcoin's origin story is uh, it really does sound like it was a lone genius kind of creation. Uh, Satoshi described Bitcoin as uh, he had the idea, but uh, he, Satoshi specifically said he had to build Bitcoin to prove to himself that Bitcoin would work. And so not even he had, you know, full confidence in his designs until, uh, you know, as Linus Torvalds likes to say, uh, it hits the internet, which is the greatest test lab in the world. By all observation, my observation, uh, it was just a lone person. As I know, as a software engineer, um, I know, you know, about testing and software development and what makes a good piece of software. And I can tell you right now, the Bitcoin 0.1 was an ugly hairball of source code. It was not written by a professional engineer. It had no unit tests, no stress tests, no fuzz tests, no integration tests, uh, none of that. The Bitcoin source code was kind of all one big file and it only ran on Windows and uh, it needed Gavin and some of the early Bitcoin developers to uh, port it to Linux, to make it more modular, to split it up into maintainable pieces. It looked like it was written by someone who was teaching themselves these particular concepts as they needed them. So uh, very uh, practical, uh, which is honestly how I taught myself computing. is It was Windows only, it was poorly organized, it was kind of all one big hairball of source code and none of that uh, says to me uh, NSA professional engineers, CIA professional engineers, uh, everything just screams uh, lone genius who honestly didn't even know how to code really well, but he had an idea and he was able to prove that idea to himself and to the rest of us.